Spectrum Airman has been in the business for over 30 years. So we have a lot of products already. And what we wanted to do was a couple things. One, bring a new piece of equipment to the market that really enhanced some of the things that our customers needed and were looking for in their day-to-day -day patient transport applications. So for our system, we're typically attaching to an aircraft seat track or a hard point. Mm -hmm. And it used to be a separate piece of equipment that would do that. So we'd have a floor rail adapter that would go onto the aircraft floor first, and then our system would lock onto the top of that. We'd taken that floor adapter away, and we've incorporated that into our base system. So for the mechanics, it's an easier step, it's an easier process, and it's all right in front of them without any tool application to put this into play. So an easy fit gives them more adjustability within the aircraft to fine tune it to their interior. And by doing so, we've minimized our footprint in the aircraft. It gives them more room. What kind of airframes are you targeting with systems like this? There is no limitation. It's more of what works in that customer's region, what works in that area for them. We can put a system into that aircraft and or helicopter for their mission needs. Well, a quick scan of the device indicates a lot of capabilities. Tell me what it's bringing to the Medifac environment. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the modular system itself is all-inclusive, is what it holds. So within this base system, you have a 3,500 liter oxygen tank. You have two air compressors, you have a vacuum compressor, and then you have an inverter or a converter, depending on what part of the world we're going to. So all of that is held within this module base. So we are pulling 28 volts or three-phase from the aircraft, depending on what airframe we're working with brings that power back to this base, and then everything else is run from here. Mm -hmm. So the aircraft modification side can be very limited to a simple can of plug coming back to the cabin where this is plugging in and going to be doing its work. We have a solid fit to the aircraft floor with our locking feature on the bottom of the module, but then everything else is right here for that medical team to work with. So you have your oxygen gauges, your vacuum gauges, your air gauges there as they're operating the equipment and monitoring that patient what they need to see. So we've kept everything at a very easy to see, reachable part on the front of the system. You have your patient stretcher, a simple locking mechanism to secure this onto the base. So you release this and then the stretcher can slide forward and aft out of the aircraft as need be. So then you have your standard belting system to hold them during the flight. We have our stretcher bridge, which is a key feature for all of the medical teams because it's holding the, the monitoring systems and ventilators that they're using during flight for that patient. It's certified to hold the weight of the devices during flight. And one of the new features that we incorporated was it's just supported on one side of the stretcher. Previous applications, it supported on both sides. So it was harder to move that patient on and off. Now with this single side attachments, the medical team has better access to that patient. They can sheet them on and off when they're getting to the, the ground ambulance, the hospital, whatever the capabilities may be. At some point down the line, we're going to have to maybe spend some time with you out in the field. This would be very cool to uh, document. Thank That'd you. Be great. Thank you so much.